Hello, I'm Dan Alford. Welcome to the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. This week we're showcasing buried arc welding, which is a variation on the gas metal arc welding process most people are completely unaware of. I learned about it in school, but I never actually saw a system till I built one to weld heavy aluminum vehicles. What makes buried arc unique is the size of the weld and depth of penetration. We're able to make one inch fillet welds in a single pass and have penetration up to five eighths of an inch. Before you call me with a project, I have to confess that it only works on aluminum and it only works in the flat position. Most welding specifications consider any weld made within 15 degrees of horizontal to be made in the flat position. But with buried arc, you have a molten weld volume of over a cubic inch. You have to be within five degrees of horizontal else your weld spills out of the joint and onto the floor. What makes buried arc work is the very high currents and very low voltages. The arc force generated by the high current allows the arc to burrow up to 5 eighths of an inch into the part. It's beautiful to watch the arc surrounded by a molten cone of aluminum penetrating deep beneath the part. Lower currents would simply result in normal MIG welds on the surface with maybe an eighth inch of penetration. Higher arc voltages would bring the arc back up out of the part and you wouldn't achieve the penetration. There's several ways to do buried arc. We use constant current, just like a stick machine. So we set the amperage and the wire speed and that controls the arc voltage. Trying to balance all the variables is tough in such a dynamic environment with such a huge volume of molten aluminum. When things go wrong, they go really wrong. There's a phenomenon called cabbaging. Amps, volts, wire speed, torch angle, and shielding gas all must be held tightly. Once a weld starts to cabbage, the weld metal laps up behind the arc, much like waves on a beach. In the video, we're welding with 332 wire at 450 amps and 25 volts, and we're achieving 5 16 of an inch penetration. In production, we push the envelope and we're welding at 800 amps with a 3 16 wire and achieving 5 8 of an inch penetration. If you think you may have an application which requires large weld volumes of aluminum or deep penetration, give us a call. We can try your parts in our laboratory. We look forward to posting new episodes of the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. If you're one of the thousands of operators of Arc Specialties equipment around the world and you have a weld that you would like to showcase, please contact us. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours. Thank you.